Today on the channel, we've got Perry, Oklahoma's second favorite son, as we've got AEW Unrivaled Series 10, Jake Hager. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another AEW Unrivaled Series 10 unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we've got from the inner circle, Jake Hager. But remember, for all your WWE and AEW wrestling figure needs, to hit up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE to save 10%. And they got AEW Unrivaled Series 10 right now, of course, well before traditional retail. So if you want your figures early, you want to save some gas, and you want to save some money with discount code KYLE, uh, you can save 10% over there. And Ringside Collectibles is the place to get these, of course. But today we've got Jake Hager, no stranger to wrestling figures. Of course, Mattel Basics, Elites. Uh, battle packs back in the day, and then of course AEW Jazzwares figures, and we'll compare that figure here uh, later on in this video. But of course, we're gonna do this video like we do all the other videos on the channel. We're gonna take a look at the packaging, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna see where it goes from there, and who knows where it'll go. It might have some see you laters in it, uh, it might have a subscribe to the channel, a like the video, it might have a hot garbage, you never know where one of these videos might go. Uh, but there he is, there's old Jake Hager, very, very cool looking in the package here. Now, unfortunately, the last Jake Hager figure was a bit of a peg warmer, as we all know. But I wonder if this one, being in his inner circle prison gear, uh, this one will help sell some units of this. Because a lot of people will want to complete the whole team, you would at least have to think. And we got the rest of these guys coming soon. Of course, Wardlow, from the opposite side of the fence, in, from the Pinnacle team, is in this set as well. And we got the rest of the teams to be built out in future series. Uh, so stay tuned for those ones. We got a nice little glamour shot of him there. There he is in the package. Extra hands, extra head. All that kind of fun stuff. On the side, it was the 82. Number 82 on the Unrivaled set, of course, Series 10. Got a little E on the other side. Of course, this set does spell out Team Taz if you line all the boxes together. And then on the back of the package here, we got him looking all fired up. He's all fired up right there at the very top. He's in the cage. He's ready to go. He's ready to throw down with the pinnacle, of course. And then we got the cross sell as well. Uh, Wardlow, Jake Hager, Dr. Britt Baker, Taz, Miro, and Andrade round out Series 10. And we'll rank that entire wave at the end of the week. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. There it is. Uh, Series 10 collection. Uh, this is from Dynamite, Blood and Guts, 5-5-2021, Jacksonville, Florida. Beautiful this time of year, Jacksonville. Uh, sure, sounds like it. And uh, we'll get him out of the package. Let's see what all the fuss is about with old Jake Hager. I don't know if there's been a lot of fuss. Like I said, he is Perry, Oklahoma's second favorite son, as we all know. Uh, there it is. When's Jake Hager going to fight MMA again? See you later. Ooh, off the detolf. Always dangerous. Uh, when's he going to get back to the MMA fights? Uh, that's what I want to know. I like how he's positioned in the package. And, man, those red shoes. There's something about a guy in red shoes. You guys know me. I love a good pair of red shoes. Very, very cool shoes on him. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Uh, extra head, extra hands. Two-fisted hands. Man, I'm ready for that. Alright, there it is. Come on. The, the body. Come on. Jeez. That's a tough head to get out, but I did it. I did it. See you later. Goodbye. There it is. Alright, look at this. We got some accessories. We got the figure. Let's look at it first. Man, we got two fists of fury with Jake Hager. You guys know I'm all in on these fists. These are actually very big fists here. Uh, both black tape fists going on. You guys know I appreciate a good fist with my wrestling figures. I even appreciate getting two of them for sure. Uh, then we get down to Jake Hager. and We'll look at this other head here in a second. What is going on here? Interesting. Now, I was not aware they were going to do this here. And this is very cool. Is it on both heads? It is on both heads. And I don't even remember this from the match, but apparently it happened. Uh, we got the uh, IC on the side here, inner circle. And then we got three little dashes on the side over here. So uh, his war paint, dare I call it his war paint. I guess he was hoping for a prison riot. I've heard Jake Hager really loves Oz. His favorite character was Adebisi is what I heard. I don't know. You guys can fact check that. I was always a Beecher guy, but yeah, Beecher had quite the story arc in Oz, as we all know. For you guys who know Oz, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, but Prison Inmate, uh, I've seen a lot of prison riots because I have watched every episode of Oz. So I know all about prison riots. It's like I've been there. It's, it's really like I've been there. It's kind of like you see the Mount Rushmore on TV. Yeah, it's kind of like I've been there. Kind of same thing. Kind of same thing. 
But this Hager figure looks tremendous. This, dare I say, could be the best Jake Hager head sculpt I've ever seen. Uh, it looks really good. You give me this head, I know all day long, bam, there's Jake Hager, Perry, Oklahoma's second favorite son. Of course, you guys that aren't in on that joke, of course, Danny Hodge, the great Danny Hodge, the guy that's got the handshake like you wouldn't believe, unfortunately passed away now. But I met Danny Hodge many times over the years, and uh, quite the guy, quite the nice guy. Uh, but he is Perry, Oklahoma's favorite son, Jack Swagger, unfortunately, or... Uh, Jack Hager, in this instance, is uh, the second favorite son. Uh, but very, very cool. We got the prison in inmate jumpsuit, uh, the torn off sleeves, which looks really good. Of course, this is really good because the articulation, he's a bigger guy, kind of like a Wardlow, so the articulation feels a lot more sturdy, a lot more solid on this one, so I do like that. Uh, we do got nice black wraps here on the hands and on the wrist, both sides, of course. The two fists, got to use those for sure. I uh, got inmate right there on the front of his shirt, which looks really good. Uh, articulation wise, of course, all the bells and whistles, shoulders, bicep cut, double jointed elbows, unfortunately not pinless yet, hands removable, head removable, hula hoop, waist, thigh cut, double jointed knees, boot cut, ankle, side to side, up and down. So we got all the usual articulation. On the back, it says Hager, El Reno Prison. I'm not exactly sure what Reno Prison is, but I know Johnny Cash once shot a man in Reno. Uh, but not really, not really. Johnny wasn't quite as uh, law or uh, fighting the law like he said he was. Uh, just a little some drug busts and some pulling some flowers, things like that. Uh, you want a real criminal? You got to go to the David Allen Coes, the Merle Haggards. Now those are the real outlaw country criminals, as you guys know. I'm an outlaw country connoisseur. Uh, me and Hillbilly Jim in these days, but uh, very very good Hager right here, and I love the red shoes. Really does sets the whole outfit off. This is definitely the sleeper of the set here. I've, like a lot of you guys watching this, you probably said, ah, another Jake Hager. This is truly the sleeper of the set. I am blown away how much I like this figure. Uh, the red in the hair there, the IC inner circle, matching the shoes, bringing it all together. Just a fabulous, fabulous figure. I never would have guessed I would have liked this figure as much as I do. But here we are, 2022. It's a strange time. Strange time, folks. We do get the screaming head for Jake Hager. And once again, I think I would recognize who this is. Very, very cool looking one. Very cool Jake Hager figure. I'm just a little bit shocked uh, saying that. Of course, we got the other version of Jake here. And man, this new one blows this thing away. This doesn't even look like the same guy. This looks like a young Bill Walton. You guys know Bill Walton, one of the greatest commentators of all time. He'll take you on the astral plane. He'll take you to a dead concert. Uh, he just might do that. But man, night and day difference. This is amazing head sculpt. This is an amazing figure. I'm raving about a Jake Hager figure. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. But it is so much better than this one. I mean, you can retire this one. If you're a one and done collector, move on to this one. Move on. Now, theoretically, you could do this. And I'm such a purist in my wrestling figures. You know, I don't like mixing and matching things and doing things differently. And why can't I get this head off? There it is. Finally got it off. Took the body with it, though, unfortunately. What is going on here? What are we doing? We're we're doing a little action figure surgery right here at the table. We're going to do this. And you could throw this other Hager head on here. Uh, because this old Hager head just absolutely abysmal, of course. But man, <laughs> you could put this one on here. But it doesn't quite work because he looks like... He, he looks like Josh Barnett like this. So I'm just throwing a lot of names out. I'm name dropping. Somebody pick all these names up in this video. But uh, I think a lot of you guys know what I'm picking up, what I'm putting down, I should say. But this head looks way big for this body. And definitely that's another thing that why this figure is so much better. The beefed up joints, the beefed up body compared to this Jake Hager. Jake Hager is not a small dude. This is like a skinny small dude. This is like a professional wrestler right here. Uh, but you could be, if you're so inclined, you could swap these heads. And I just may end up doing that. I may end up doing this. I'll store this head in the back of the hoodie. Uh, it kind of like be like Basket Case. We all know about Basket Case, one of the greatest movies of all time. And the only movie that's ever truly scared young Kyle. Uh, so it'd be like Basket Case. You could just hang out over here and, uh, you know, something like that. But man, I got to say, this Jake Hager blew me away. This blew away my expectations. Actually, I'm going to say this is one of the jewels of the Unrivaled Unmatched line so far. That's how good I like this one. Now, not everybody's going to be in the same position. Of course, this is where I sit. And as you guys know, I sit right here at this table. Uh, maybe you hate Jake Hager, whatever it might be. But there's no denying this is a great, great solid action figure. Feels great. It's just a good one. So I got to say, this is the sleeper of the set. And we're not even through unboxing everybody in the set yet. But just, 
I can't rave about this one enough. So there you go. Uh, but what do you guys think? If you got this, you're picking it up, you're passing, uh, you get, you're good enough with this one. I got to say, guys, this one blows away. This one, I recommend this very strongly, as you've heard throughout this video. Uh, but let me know your thoughts on the Jake Hagers here. Let me you know your thoughts on Perry, Oklahoma. Let me know your thoughts on Oz. Uh, how about David Allen Coe and Merle Haggard? There's so much to talk about here. Basket case, Bill Walton. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. You guys let me know your thoughts on all of it. Uh, and then, of course, subscribe to the channel while you're here. Hit the old notification bell. You don't want to miss a video. We're unboxing all these here on the channel. You guys know that. Give the video the thumbs up. You made it this far. It always supports the channel as well. Uh, of course, the Patreon is where you get your most bang for your buck. You get these videos much, much earlier than traditional YouTube. Uh, you also get bonus content, exclusive content, and entered into monthly giveaways, of course. A lot of fun over on the Patreon. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson, pick up a t-shirt, and then follow along on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Perry, Oklahoma's second favorite son, I am Kyle. This is Jake Hager, and I'll see you guys all real soon.